Hello again. This morning we're going to make another painting, this time of some color chairs. This is a pretty uh, lengthy project. It uh, could take quite a while, and my instructions cannot possibly cover all of the issues that you might have in making this project. So watch the video, follow along, uh, do what you can on this one, and uh, if you need help, please feel free to ask. So, what do you say? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we're going to work with color and we're going to make a painting of uh, some chairs on grass. So hopefully you have a document here on your desktop called chairs.jpg. JPG. I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to drop it right on my Photoshop icon here. And you'll see as soon as this pops up, this is a pretty complex image that uh, we're going to have to do a lot, of, a lot of work on and a lot of different layers. Not worried about color managing. Here's my image. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I don't like these artifacts that I get on the outside. That's just my computer doing that. You don't need to worry about that. Now. Here's my image, okay? I'm going to start by zooming in a little bit. I zoomed in a little too far. And what we're going to start with is we're going to make a paper layer. So I'm going to go layer, new, layer. I'm going to call this layer paper. Tell it okay. Now I'm going to pick a color for my paper. Just kind of an off-white, maybe a little yellow in it. Like this is probably going to be fine, like a manila color almost. Tell it OK. I'm going to grab my paint bucket. Make sure my opacity is at 100%. I'm just going to dump this on top. So here I have my paper layer. And uh, I don't really need it right now. In fact, we really won't use it much at all. Uh, until the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock this layer and then just turn it off. Now we're going to want to do separate layers on this image for many of the different elements in the painting. I'm going to want to have a layer for my chairs. I'm going to want to have a layer for grass. I'm going to want to have a layer for maybe bushes and definitely a layer for these buildings in the background. I want to start from the back and work my way forward. So I'm going to make a buildings layer, then I'm going to make a bushes and grass layer, and then I'll finish by making a layer for my chairs. So let's do layer, new, layer. I'm going to go ahead and call this one buildings, B U I. L D I N G S. Tell it OK. And now I'm ready to start painting in my buildings. And I'm not going to worry about the, the grass or the bushes or anything else. I'm just going to paint buildings and uh, some of these accents to the buildings, like the windows. And uh, even that I'm not going to go too crazy on. I'm going to grab my brush here. And the buildings are pretty solid. Uh, I'm going to do this whole thing, by the way. This entire project, I'll be using wet media brushes. Tell it OK. And uh, for the buildings to start with, I think I'll start with a light oil flat tip. And I can see here, uh, this might be a little bigger than I want. I'm going to go down to about a 13 or a 12. I want to get really detailed. And because this is a colors project, I'd really like you to try and not use the eyedropper tool. I want to work with swatches. Now, if you're like me and you get all these funny swatches like this, I don't, maybe you want this many colors. I don't think you really need them. I'm just going to tell this to reset my swatches. Tell it OK. And now I get more of the basic colors, which should be fine. I can always edit later if I want to. The building here is mostly white, 
a little bit off-white, so I'm not going to grab white. I'm going to grab this one, this little bit of gray right next to it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just make sure I'm on my buildings layer. I'm just going to start to paint in the sides of the building. I want my opacity up a little bit higher. This is a pretty solid white. I'm going to go with the direction of the slats on the building. Make nice, short, smooth strokes. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I can always turn my paper layer on, and there it is. If I can maybe lower the opacity there. Oops, wrong layer, paper layer. Wrong layer. I have to unlock it to lower the opacity. Let's do that. So it's always a tracing paper. That's better. Now I'm going to lock it again and go back to painting my building some more. And I'm just going to continue. I'm not too worried about those lines, the slats there, because I can always go back and do those, and I will here in a minute. Just going to do this part, and then maybe I'll do this area over here. As you can see, this is a big project with a lot of detail. It'll take a long time to get the whole thing done right. Look at the edges of this window I'm going to paint in here. Like so. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab kind of a darker color. Um, looks like, here let's turn this off so I can really see it. It's really a dark, dark brown. So I'm going to grab this color and use that to paint in these parts, these little slats here, and this one that goes sort of sideways, try not to mess it up too bad. And now I'm going to paint in these parts of the window. I may go back with the white and redo those window panes as well, and like so. And we've got another one right here, and it goes down. And then I probably, yeah, I want to take a look at this. Let's just see. I don't want to edit the layer. I want to turn my opacity up so I can see what I've done. Hard to tell, but it is doing what I want it to do. So uh, I'm going to keep going lower this back down, go back to my buildings. Now I can see under here it's a little darker so I'm going to want to shade that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab a, that same off-white to do this edge right here. Nice and smooth. But then I want to go a little bit darker for this area underneath. Now that I'm doing it, feeling like I probably could have used a bigger brush for this job. That's okay. You start to get the idea of what I'm going for here. And I want you to understand that this is just the first layer. There's a ton of detail here. Let's take a look at what we have by turning up our paper layer really hard to see that white. I hope you can see that. Next thing I want to do, uh, I'm going to turn this off, and the next thing I want to do is I want to make uh, another layer for these bushes and grass. Now you would probably continue working on the buildings, doing the roof, things like that, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and get started on these bushes. So I'm going to make another layer, layer, and I'm going to call this one bushes. I'll probably put the grass in it as well. Uh, you know what? I actually want the bushes layer above my buildings layer. Now I'm going to pick another brush that I think is going to make a, a nice bush. How about this uh, heavy scatter flow? That looks pretty good. 
And then I'm going to grab a nice uh, green. There's several bushes here. Looking for kind of this green. And I got my brush ready. I want my opacity a little lower here. Make sure I'm on my bushes layer. And I think I'll actually make this brush a little bit larger. Okay, now I'm just gonna, whoa, that's a big bush. <laughs> Maybe I should make that a little bit smaller. I like what it's doing though. I'm gonna edit, undo, and step backward. Wow, that's some serious pain. Let's try this again. Hey, there we go. Ooh, this is gonna be easy. Yep, this makes a great set of bushes. We're just gonna kind of dab this in. This is an interesting brush. It's still a little bit big. I'm gonna go all the way down to a 10. And I can see different bushes back here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my regular color picker because I wanna start editing here. I want a little bit darker for these bushes up here in the top and there's some other darker parts down here. This bush is a little darker. And there's some darker parts over here that kind of go over the other one. I might even up my opacity a little, make it a little darker. This one is dark. Now let's switch again, get a little bit lighter. Put some more accents in here. Don't worry about going over the chair. I'm going to make the chairs on another layer. So they'll end up being over the bushes. I'm really liking the way these are coming out. They're going to look great. Okay, let's turn up our paper layer again or turn this back on and you can see there's how my bushes came out. Uh, I'm not real happy with this one, so I'm gonna dab that in a little more, a little more here and there, just to give it a little bit of a thicker look. Some of these came out a little more thin than I would like. But uh, yeah, those are some, those are nice looking. That's gonna be great. There, there's my bushes. Uh, let's turn off that paper layer again. And now what I want to do is I'm going to get a nice kind of heavy brush that I'm just going to lay down some real quick grass. So uh, I don't want to use this scatter flow brush. Let's use... I'm going to go back to brush with thick flow medium. Now, I need this grass color here. Hmm. A little bit lighter than the bushes. That's really quite a bit lighter. That looks good. I want to make it larger, though, because I don't want to have to do too many strokes. Let's see how big this is. Oh, that's not very big at all. Let's go all the way up to like 100. That'll probably do. And now I just want to make some nice long smooth strokes. The grass is pretty smooth. I'm feeling like the color I chose is a little too light. Make it a little bit darker. Here we go. And again, I'm not really worried about painting over these chairs because I'm gonna make a chairs layer later. I'm just putting in some grass. And I'll go down here, and over here the grass actually gets even a little bit darker. So I'm going to use a color that's a little bit darker. And again, I'm not concerned about painting over the chairs because I'm just going to make a new layer for the chairs later. It'll look fine. Not bad. Now let's take a look again. If we turn our paper back on, I can see my grass. And I see a few spots here in my grass that I'd like to touch up. It gives me a chance to change colors again and add these touch-ups and it adds a little bit more depth to the grass. And 
you can see here by using how I'm using color to add some realism. Oh, that's good. I think that grass actually came out pretty nice. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my chairs. Uh, I'm going to have to turn off my bushes layer in order to see the chairs. And then I'm going to grab a, again, brush with thick flow medium, the number 28. And I want to leave it this time at 28. Of course, I'm going to need a new layer. Forgot that part. How about layer, new layer? Let's call this chairs. And now I'm just going to make my chairs. Let's start with this blue one. Obviously, this is not the right color, so I'll start in swatches. And I want a pretty dark, actually a lighter blue on the top. And I'm just going to make sure I'm on my chairs layer, which I am. And then I'm just going to paint in the slats of this chair in this nice brush. A little bit smaller here. And again, over here, it gets a little darker. So I'm going to go back to color, and I'm just going to use blues. And I'm going to make this part a little darker. Again, I'm using color to show the shape. A little darker again across this part. I'll make these little legs. And now I've really got a very dark little bit back here in the back. And I'll put that in like so. Now I can turn my paper layer back on, and we can see my chair. And again, there's some parts here that I probably want to doctor up a little bit. Hit OK. I want to put another leg on my chair just for some realism. And I want to put another darker bit along some of these edges. I might even lower my opacity. And I'm going to do some shadowing here. Make this look a little more full. There we go. Like so. There. Now, if I turn on my bushes and grass layer back on, you can see the chair on the top. I might still want to go back and add some extra color in here. My chair is not as bright as I would like. But you start to see it come together. You'll go back through your image and you'll do all the chairs, you'll do the building, you'll do the bushes. It's a pretty advanced project and it'll probably take you a couple of days. Have fun, ask me if you have questions, and good luck.